One of the biggest problems that wheat farmers are having across the country is with an early season insect called wireworms. Well, wireworms don't just pop up, Brian. They were out there last year. You probably noticed the adult stage of the wireworm. It's the click beetle. And we see click beetles all over the place and nobody worries about click beetles. But you just kind of forget that, well, when there is a click beetle now, he's going to have some baby little wireworms out there. Yeah, or she. <laughs> some baby wireworms next year that are going to feed on your seed and seedling. So what this all comes down to is when you talk about wireworms and we say, yep, we've got the problem now this spring, what do we do? Let's talk about the control there, but let's also talk about the management of that pest, not just for this year, but for future years as well. Well, with wireworms, they're typically thought of as an early season bug. And the reason why, wireworms can actually be out there a little bit longer than just the very early season. But what we're thinking about with wireworms is they can affect the seed and also the young seedling. I've seen young seedlings completely get chopped off by wireworms and it, it's a disaster out in your fields because now it's too late to plant again. Yep, and you know, uh, I just heard this plane flying overhead and it just reminded oh, me of Oh, rescue the fact treatment. That, right, there is no <laughs> rescue treatment for this. And I've been out in fields, uh, not so many wheat fields that I've seen, but I have seen a lot of corn fields in my life where, I mean, they're, they're wiped out. And, and once that's done, what are you gonna do? The plant's dead. There is no rescue treatment. Now you've got to tear it up and go replant. And the problem with that too is it's not usually across the whole field evenly. It's really bad in one spot, really bad in another spot, kind of bad in another spot. How do you handle that? Well, here's the thing. You do have to treat the whole field, but you have to do it with a seed treatment insecticide. And I have a lot of guys say, wait a minute, wait a minute. I never used to have to have this. Yeah, but we used to plant at a lot higher rates. We'd say, okay, let's just put twice as much out as we need because between disease and bugs, we're probably gonna lose half of it. I know when we were kids, we would seed at a much heavier rate than we're doing right now. Now, when you think about what the cost of seed is, and yes, in wheat, you say, well, I don't have to pay all those royalties or tech fees or whatever you may call them in corn and soybeans and cotton. That may be, but you've got a tremendous crop out there now. If you're raising 100 bushel wheat, yeah, but, that may be $700 an yeah, acre. You, but can't, the, you can't mess around anymore. Yeah, but the bigger thing isn't the seeding rate, Darren. It's really the residue and the fact that guys are doing no-till now. So when you talk about higher amounts of residue out there, a lot less tillage that used to kill or bury some of those wireworms, that's really the big reason, in my opinion, why we've got a lot more wireworm problems than ever. And you know, we do see this in continuous wheat more than we do in crop rotation. And again, that kind of comes down to the residue and the tillage side of things. So if you're a continuous wheat farmer, what's the best insecticide that you could use? There's one chemical family that's getting used in just about every crop across our country, but it is the best one for wireworm control. It's the neonicotinoid family. That includes poncho, cruiser, gaucho, those chemistries. And if we put them on the seed, we can get some pretty good protection against wireworms. Now it's not perfect. It's not gonna be 100% well, or anything rate, like that. The, the rate's the key. So if you're at the low rate, it's not gonna be that great on wireworms. That's why a lot of guys are bumping that rate up. So they might go with a pre-packaged mix that they've got out there, like one of the Raxel products, or there's a cruiser combination product with fungicide and everything else. Well, guys are putting that on, plus then they're throwing an extra rate of insecticide just to make sure they have enough for the wireworms. Okay, so once again, wireworm is a bad problem that we're seeing in wheat. Our solution is just bump up the rate of insecticides that you're putting on that seed treatment. And then in the summertime, make sure you're controlling the adult click beetles and over time, Time, you will reduce and even potentially eliminate your wireworm. Now problem. when you say in the summertime we're talking about post-emerge in crop so when you're going out there with a the fungicide app you can throw insecticide right in with that or if you need a herbicide app to kill some grass or some broadleaf weeds you can put insecticide right in with that they're very compatible with most things you're gonna do just talk to your agronomist before you make that application to make sure you're okay. Yeah, and the whole key is scouting your fields and when you're scouting your fields you may see our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed?